Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here, hello, I'm Keaton. So today's video is going to be another daily vlog day in the life. As you guys know, I always daily vlog for you guys. I just like to bring you guys with me because as I do stuff alone, I feel like I have a little friend just coming along my day with me. So um, this morning we do have a Twin Flames launch. I feel like a lot of my content obviously has been about Twin Flames and all that kind of stuff. It is literally what consumes most of my time. Anyway, I just woke up and it is currently 8.48. So that means we have like an hour and 10 minutes until launch, which I'm so excited about. We're launching new pieces today, which is gonna be really amazing. I have a nice big cup of coffee. As you guys can see, I was watching Liz McGuire all last night for some reason. I have been loving sleeping on my couch. I don't know what that is. I think it's just because I have a TV. I'm literally so exhausted. I've been staying up so late. Like late for me is like 11.30. I normally go to bed at like 9, 8.30. Um, so I've been staying up late and I have been staying up just watching TV, watching Love Island, doing work. And I'll be doing it on my couch and I just don't want to leave. And I just have been sleeping on my couch for some reason. I don't know. I kind of like it for right now. Anyway, today what I really want to do aside from Twin Flames launch is I really, 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 really want to shoot some TikTok content. I just feel like I always go through these like seasons of wanting to film like 10 different TikToks in a day and then I will not post on TikTok for like two months and you guys would be like, are you dead? And I'm like, no, I just kind of forget that the app exists or that I post my own stuff on there. So I really want to film some like maybe outfit videos because I did just do like that big haul. So I want to maybe do all of the items from there, but like styled in a TikTok. So I'm probably going to do that today. I also have some amazing stuff. Savage X Fenty pieces to show you guys. You guys know Savage X Fenty makes my month every month. Working with them is amazing. And so I have some really, really fun pieces to show you guys today. But I think that for the majority of the part, I'm probably gonna do TikToks. Oh, that is my alarm to wake up. Okay, anyway, I will see you guys right before launch when I call Nat and we figure out what we're doing. I, for some reason, have tears in my eyeballs. Kia, we're at 8.30. Get out of my face. What the hell? I'm crying! I know you can't see me, but I am crying. We have 15 seconds. There's like a pit in my stomach and I'm also crying, so goodbye. <laughs> okay, items should be live. I'm refreshing, 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 refreshing. Oh, 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 kill me. Oh my gosh, look how many orders we already have. And it hasn't even loaded on like, what? We're, we have 75 hoodies left. Total? <laughs> Natalie? 67. Natalie? <laughs> Why are they buying them so fast? Oh my gosh, we're gonna get roasted and we thought we had such a large amount. Dude, people are gonna literally roast us and it's literally not our fault. Like we actually were like, we're so solid and the hoodies are... There's 28 left. Oh my God, they're sold out in every size but small. I have never seen one of our pieces go as fast as that hoodie just did. Like not even when we first launched that. How did that happen? We had such a good amount. How did that happen? Bro, thank God we're restocking it. Okay guys, well, that just happened. We just had lunch, it went really really well it's always really exciting on launch day because me and Nat just like want to see you know the feedback and you know how excited people are it's also so difficult running a business um, a small business at that that is not even a year old and so it's so difficult when pieces sell out and you know we order so much of the quantity and we really do like we're not just sitting here being like oh my gosh we sold out and we sold 100 hoodies like that's not that's not what we're doing like we want to really have people in our pieces like we buy a large amount because we want so many people to be able to be in the pieces so it just is so upsetting. Obviously for me, when I see you guys comment, I wasn't able to get it or it was at my car and it just sold out. It, it is upsetting. Like obviously as excited as I am that we sell out, it's so frustrating when, you know, we think that, okay, these quantities are great. We've got a great number. We got it good. And you know, it's just so hard to really measure the demand of items based on 
just our demographic and what you guys like. It's just so difficult to be able to tell. So obviously that was something that happened this morning. The pieces sold out really, really fast. I'm not kidding. I, we've never had that many people on the site at one time ever, like with any other launch. Um, and the pieces were gone like so fast. Luckily we are restocking this already because these are staple pieces. So we will keep these. Um, so we are restocking these, which we are very, very excited about. And we also have something else coming in December, but what is coming in December is limited. It will be restocked, but it was already ordered. We ordered the same amount of what is coming in December as what this drop was. So if that's the case and this all just sold out, then obviously it's going to sell out again, but there is nothing we can do at this point because we have already placed the order. So we are implementing something on the website which will actually hold your item in your cart for a few minutes so that you can type all your information in, you guys can click buy, um, and the item won't go away. Shopify told us that that was already on the site, but I'm getting a lot of messages saying that you guys went to into your credit card and the item was gone. So I don't know if Shopify really does that. So we're implementing like this new thing onto the site that will actually do that for us because we really want you guys to be able to save your pieces. But enough Twin Flames talk for the day. I hate making the whole vlog about that even though obviously so far it has been, but that's just because it's been my morning. Um, so now I just made breakfast. You guys know I make this little bagel egg sandwich all the time um, and then I'm still drinking my coffee. I'm just hanging out. It's close to 12 now, so I'm having very, very late. Uh, breakfast but I am so excited to self tan myself I know that sounds so weird but like I just can't wait I have been super pale and pasty for weeks now and after I eat this I am going immediately into my bathroom and I am self tanning everything it just makes me feel so good um, so I'm gonna go self tan after this I'm gonna watch a little bit of Love Island and I will check back in with you guys later it is makeup time so we are just going to get started as you guys can see I just put a little bit of tanner onto my face i'm debating ugh, i don't know what i want to use i'm gonna go for the Too faced plump and prime and just prime my skin i have been doing my eyeshadow before my makeup as of recently because i've actually been kind of trying with my makeup or with my eyeshadow you guys know i do bronzer in the crease but ever since i posted that tiktok of me wearing the positions inspired makeup look all of you guys were like oh my gosh like you need to do more eye looks you need to try more and i was like all right i will so that is what we're gonna do today i don't want to do anything super wild just because it is more casual today the eyeshadow palette i'm gonna use today is the pumpkin spice eyeshadow palette i have been using this so much i really love the colors in it and i'm just going to set my eye Lid. I'm gonna go in with spice spice baby. It's more of like an orangey tone and I'm gonna layer this on first and Build it upwards so that it kind of shows through once I put the darker brown on I actually really enjoy doing my eyeshadow now before My makeup because I can be so messy and it is so much easier like look at this Disaster on my face now. I'm gonna go in with the shade Coco drizzle and I'm just gonna pack it onto the outer corner of the crease um, The outer corner and the crease and just kind of build it up so that it's darker on the outside but still leaving the middle and the Inner corner white. All right, so that is the outer eyeshadow But I actually want to kind of not cut crease the eye, but I really do want to conceal um, the inner corner just to the middle so that I can pack on a really pretty shimmer. So I'm taking this little brush, uh, just a little concealer brush and concealer on the back of my hand. And I'm going to ever so lightly go in from the inner corner. And I'm just gonna cover all of the shadow up. I'm not a huge fan of the colors that are in this one, so I'm going in with this Pat McGrath Labs palette, and I'm gonna go and take this like orangey gold shade right there. Actually, no, I'm gonna take this one. I really like this top one. I don't even know why I'm like showing you guys so intensely when you guys are, you guys don't care, so it's really fine. But I just took my finger, oh my gosh, this is so pigmented, and I literally, oh. Okay, she, oh my gosh, that is, 
that's honestly too much pigment like i wasn't um i was not ready for that okay we have a very very shimmery eye look today i do kind of want the gold to have a little bit of like white reflex in there so i'm just gonna take a highlighter and i'm gonna put it on just the center so you guys can see i think it gives it a little bit more dimension to put it on the center of the eyelid i feel like it makes my eyes look just a little bit bigger my makeup is done i just finished and i did a little wing eyeliner i'll come up close so you guys can see i actually really like the eyeshadow i think it turned out really good the skin is looking dewy i got a little bit of bronzer on there ever since i self-tanned so i'm feeling good and now it is time to show you guys my favorite pieces from savage x fenty this month we have some amazing amazing beautiful pieces and i'm so excited to share them with you guys so let's get to trying them on So those are all the pieces this month from Savage X Fenty. They offer amazing, amazing deals. So this month from November 1st to November 25th, you guys can get two bras for only $29, 60% off, and you guys will have free shipping when your first extra VIP order. So it's amazing, you guys can save. The only way that you guys can get these deals is if you use the description link in my description. So you guys can click that link, you guys can send it to a boyfriend or a girlfriend, whoever it is, and be like, hey, I really want this, this, this. It's perfect for the holidays if you guys are wanting to save. It's amazing, amazing membership. I think it would be such a cute idea if you send it to your boyfriend or maybe even a family member and you just said, hey, you know, if you wanna sign me up to become an extra VIP member this month, here is the link because I need all of these pieces. I know that you guys really love Savage X Fenty. I love working with them and I'm so excited for this amazing deal. So don't forget to check out the link in my description. Okay, I just got this huge package in the mail that I did not order, but it says William Sonoma. Oh, this is so cute. Um, my management team sent me a robe i was so confused opening that i was like what is this right now um but thank you guys so so much i need to open this up and show you look how cute this is guys it has my initial on it shut up oh my gosh i'm going to feel like a literal queen in this i'm gonna walk around my house in my beautiful keaton robe wow it feels so soft too. I just love that it's white and just, oh, oh my gosh. It is so cozy. It's literally so cute, guys. Look at that. That is so beyond precious. Thank you guys so, so much. I love it. It is currently like three o'clock. I just took a couple minutes to plan some TikTok outfits. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and film the TikTok after I have lunch, so. I'm on FaceTime with Nat and I'm making chicken noodle soup. How delicious. Are you really? jealous? Are you mm -hmm. jealous of my lunch? Good <laughs> diet? What? Good diet? No, I just like, because I'm, I just don't like to cook. 
my lunch during the day. Like I hate making lunch. I will only like make breakfast or dinner and then lunch I'm like, what's the quickest thing that can feed me? And it's soup. So I'm like, I will eat soup for lunch. So, oh my gosh, I have so much PR over here. It's actually insane. But these are all the outfits I have kind of just lined up for my TikTok today. So I just kind of picked these out and we're gonna see, I always change them once they come onto my body. Uh, but you guys should follow me on TikTok or Instagram because I always post these as reels as well. But these are all the outfits and I'm so excited to style them. All right, this is the <laughs> disaster of filming TikToks in here. Like literally all my clothes are thrown everywhere. I just took some amazing photos in this Savage X Fenty. Guys, it's freaking fire. I love it. Like this color, I wish the lighting would come on. This color is so pretty though. It's the prettiest blue ever, but I just took some photos because as you guys can see, the lighting right now is bomb. But I just also made a huge, Huge disaster in here. Right now, I'm currently listening to, what is this? Zayn and Heath Unfiltered, Heath? I thought I said that wrong. Zayn and Heath Unfiltered, they did an interview with James Charles. I've never watched or listened to their podcast before, but I always watch James Charles videos, so I was like, hmm, I wanna hear this. So I'm watching that podcast right now. It's really good, actually. Um, and yeah, basically, I'm just gonna edit a few Savage X Fenty photos. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. It's five o'clock now, so I do need to decide what is gonna be happening for dinner. I didn't thaw anything, which this happens to me every night. I always forget to make food. But also guys, I'm obsessed with this eye makeup and just my makeup in general. I'm getting so sad thinking about having to take it off, but I love it so much. So anyway, that's the update for now. Wow guys, this is the sunset tonight. It's literally so beautiful. Like how is this real? Like. What? I made chicken nuggets <laughs> as always. These are my favorite little chicken nuggets. I was too lazy to cook something. I cooked last night, so that was my cooking night. So I'm gonna eat chicken nuggets for dinner. Okay, I just washed my face and my contacts for some reason are so blurry. So looking into the viewfinder right now, it is so, so blurry. I actually posted on my Instagram story the other night and I was like, sitting here on my couch watching the TV and I was like, what is it like to just wake up? Like seriously, this is a question for you guys. What is it like to just wake up and see? Like I can't imagine having clear vision. Like I'm like literally legally blind. Like my eyesight is so bad. I couldn't drive a car if I did not have contact. Like it's so bad. So I just always think about it. And I'm like, I can't believe there are people in the world who have just naturally amazing eyesight. Like you just wake up and see. I cannot picture that. Like I wake up every single morning and have to put my contacts in before I start my day or else I can't do anything. Anyway, I'm just blabbing on. I am sitting here, I just ate my chicken nuggets and I just played a little bit of my Animal Crossing which I absolutely love. I'm also literally in this um, Savage X Fenty bra that is the most comfortable. This color is literally my favorite thing ever in the entire world and it is so comfortable to sleep in for some reason i go back and forth between wearing a bra and not wearing a bra when i sleep i used to wear a push-up bra when i slept like in junior high because i thought that my boobs would be higher lifted up <laughs> did anybody else tell you guys that like i remember someone in junior high was like yeah i sleep with a push-up bra on because like then my boobs will stay big and like perky. So like every single night I would sleep with a push-up bra on like, oh my gosh, my boobs are <laughs> That is besides the point, my favorite bras to sleep in are kind of like bralette style tops, just like how this one is um, from Savage X Fenty and it's so soft, so I have that under here. Um, but I'm also about to put my little um, skin treatment on. I really wanna do a skin journey video. Like I really want to share what my results and what my experience has been like taking spironolactane and taking acne medication and stuff like that because I know I get 
so many questions about how I've cleared my skin up a lot, which my skin is not completely to where it needs to be. I really, really, really want to go do microneedling on it so that I can really start healing some of the scarring because once the scarring is gone, then I will feel so much better about my skin. Um, but if you guys want to actually see a full skin journey, let me know and I would like love to film one for you guys. I love bringing you guys with me just in my day-to-day -day life. I just feel like I have a best friend with me all the time. So I hope that you guys like this vlog. Don't forget to check out Savage X Fenty in the description box below. This month is like the most important time to be signing up for Savage X Fenty because they have so many amazing sales, so many amazing pieces. I'm not kidding, I know that you guys will love it. Also, one of my favorite things ever is when you guys tag me in stories or Instagram posts or tweet me what you guys have bought from Savage X Fenty like through me. So I love, love, love seeing that. So if you guys do, go in the links down below and shop them. Don't forget to tag me because it's my favorite thing ever. I posted the onesies the other day. So many of you guys have tagged me in the Savage X Fenty onesie that I really, really love and the panties and bras and you guys tag me in all of it and it makes me really, really happy. So don't forget to tag me in that, but thank you guys so, so much again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.